the first thing that we're going to want to do is we have to activate spaces. By default it's turned off. So what we need to do first is go to the system preferences. Spaces is here along with Expose. We'll save that for another tutorial if you haven't already encountered Expose. That came along with OS 10.4 Tiger. So we're going to click on the Preference pane and two tabs here, Expose and Spaces. Obviously choose the Spaces. And we're going to enable Spaces. So uh, the way this works is if you don't have Spaces enabled, you have one desktop. And this little blue square here in the center or this one or this one or any of them basically uh, refer to one particular desktop. So to start off, just to show you the functionality, two spaces. Okay. Um, there's some other options here as far as activating spaces. We can see that I have spaces activatable. We're making up words as we go. Just bear with us. To the middle mouse button. So my mouse has a scroll wheel in the center. If I click it, that's the middle mouse button. So to show you what happens if I click it, we're going to get this sort of effect here. Now, this looks a little bit different from the System Preferences window because I have two displays. One is my laptop monitor, that would be this one, and an external display here. So depending on what you have connected to your computer, your spaces will look a little bit different. Okay, clicking it again will release the spaces. You can also use the Escape key. Okay, so to demonstrate, what we'll do is we'll open up a couple of programs. I'll open up mail and mail and I suppose it doesn't really matter. How about the to-do manager? So there they are. Back to the familiar moving the windows around the window dance. No, we don't want to do that anymore. So what you can do is with spaces turned on, you can activate spaces. And remember I have this set to my middle mouse button, although you can have a keyboard combination to do that if you like. So I'm going to press it, and what this allows us to do is to move windows from one space to another, like this. Okay, so now you notice that in this window, all we have is, well, we still got the system preferences window open, but basically just my mail. Um, I can use the middle mouse button to activate spaces, click on another space, and we're instantly there. No mail. Now if you look at the dock, you'll see that the mail is actually open still, and in fact, if you click it, the operating system will take care of switching spaces for you. So th this is essentially the, the usefulness in spaces, is that you can have multiple programs open uh, with their windows open without having to, I guess, uh, hide or obscure anything at all from you.